Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for calibrating and setting up your Phuket Disk Seeder. To calibrate your Phuket Seeder, you'll need the following things. Some seed, a bucket to collect your seed sample, as well as a scale to weigh your seed sample. Lastly, you'll need your calibration trays, which can be found in the front of your machine, tied down with these knobs. Once we've got everything together, we can start getting the machine ready for calibration, as well as filling the machine with seed. For this demonstration, we'll be seeding some oats, and as this is a medium-sized seed, we will be using our medium-sized metering unit, or 10-groove metering unit, which is the middle bin on this specific machine. The next step is to either raise your machine slightly or put a cinder block under the driving wheel so that it doesn't contact the soil. Then start by removing your funnels on your metering units. Place your calibration tray under the metering units. The following step is to prime your metering units by turning the drive wheel in the forward position until every metering unit is dispensing seed evenly. We are now finally ready to calibrate for our first sample. For this calibration I will be using our Piquet Implements calibration app. With this I have selected a sample size of 50 meters a seeding rate of 50 kilograms per hectare and my machine's metering units are currently set to 2.5 so this is my metering block for the seed and it's currently set at 2.5 the app now tells me to turn the drive wheel 27.47 times for a sample of 50 meters and during this for 50 kilograms per hectare we need a target weight of 0 0.356 kilograms that we need to dispense your Phuket Cedar is calibrated by adjusting this metering block located on the side of your machine. This block, by adjusting it, you will open or close your metering unit, allowing more or less seed to be dispensed. By counting the revolutions of the wheel on the valve, I'll now turn the wheel 27 and a half times. I have now weighed my sample and will enter the weight from the scale into my app. The app will now tell me that at a setting of 2.5 I will dispense 40 kilograms per hectare and I will need to move it to 3.1 to dispense the required density of 50 kilograms per hectare. Now using a 10 spanner I will slightly loosen the bolt on this metering block, loosen the bolt locks the thing in place and I will adjust the metering block to 3.1 from 2.5 now just repeat the whole process to double check your calibration after calibration remove your calibration trays put them back on their place and put all the funnels back on the metering units. With our Piquet disc seeders, there are two main settings on your units that you need to adjust when entering a field. Each unit determ determines its own depth and the depth can be adjusted either to seat shallower by moving the spin downward or to see it deeper by moving the spin upward. The second setting that you'll need to adjust on your unit is the pressure or the downforce of each unit which can be adjusted by tightening or loosening this tension spring. 
Another useful tool for setting up the downforce on your piquette seeder is our penetrometer. So using my penetrometer, I will reset the stopper to the bottom and press it into the soil in this field. So over here I can see at about 300 psi, I've penetrated the soil just over 100 millimeters. Using this information I've just received from my penetrometer, I can now go ahead and determine do I need to tighten out the springs to force these discs into the soil or is the soil loose enough for me to, to seed in directly. The specific setup I'll be using in this field that we've got here um, is slightly compacted sand with some material so I know I can turn up the, sp the springs a little, tighten them down so I can cut through the material nicely. To increase the downforce on my unit, I'll use a 24 spanner to loosen the, these two nuts and now tighten down the bottom one so the, the spring stretches out. Once I've set my unit to the pressure that I desire, I will lock the two nuts on top of each other again by using 20, two 24s tightening the one onto the other. Another important thing that you need to keep in mind when setting up a piquette seater, especially one that's on a three-point hitch, is when your, when your machine is operating, it always your frame always needs to be parallel to the ground. After a couple of runs, we can now inspect the rows that we have planted. Once you see your furrows properly closed back up again, with no seeds lying on top, you know your machine is running properly. And behind the V opener we can see once again, it's cutting through the soil nicely. Placing those seeds. Cutting through the material. just after your press wheel closing it up nicely again a demonstration to show what happens when you've tried when you try to see too deep and how this affects the press wheel as well as the seating depth This is how to check for seed placement with your piquet disc seeder. Lower the machine into working position and drive forwards for a couple of meters. Now take a look at the furrow behind the V openers to see the depth of your furrow as well as the seed placement in the furrow. This will give you an indication of how deep you are seeding. The press wheel which determines the seeding depth can be seen at the back as well as the way that it's closing the furrow behind to adjust your seed depth you can move this pin downwards to go shallower or upwards to see deeper if you find that your press wheel isn't closing the furrow enough you can try to increase the, the downforce by tightening down on the tension springs.